thinking today um, about slichot, about forgiveness and release. So, so even this sense of releasing um, forgiveness in the body, tension, letting go of tension in the body. So, um, so that's what we will be. Uh, that's our intention of the morning. And if you have a different intention for your practice, then, um, then that's wonderful too. Just finding connection, breath, and movement together um, as we prepare for Rosh Hashanah. So looking, here we go. See if this works. Can you hear the music? Yes, good, okay. So just starting, just swaying side to side. So you can either take your arm out, feel your breath. You can go up and over. And then go on the diagonal, just a little stretch. And then circling the shoulders, loosening up upper back and the other way. And just circling the arms up and down. These are heart circles. Feel your heart opening and connecting to yourself. And then the other way, press up and down, pushing up and down, crunch up and down, one more. And reaching up, go over to one side, then the other side, and then circling your torso. Feel your breath and the other way. The soul you have given me is pure. And now coming to Asher Yassar. I thank you for my life. Just feeling your center warming. Help me realize I am beautiful and whole. You can reach one arm up and one arm down. I'm perfect the way I am and a little broken too. And then just taking a cross, a little more core work, bring your hands together, prayer position or chopping wood. Oh. 
and then just step and tap. So you can stay here or take that reach or take a balance. Or just stay here or keep your arm low. Whatever feels good to you. And then forward. You can do this with straight legs or bent knees. Or kick. And then kicking back behind you. Keep your torso pulling in. Belly muscles strong. You can pull your arms down or back. Feeling your breath. And just bending and lifting up, down, and pressing up. Feel your breath. I will live each day as a gift I give to you. And then just circle your hip, press your foot into the ground, and the other direction. And switching feet. And the other direction. And just take a gentle stretch forward. Slowly lifting up. Feel your belly muscles. And just swing side to side. I'm lifting up and just taking that stretch back, feeling your upper back, feeling your breath. If there's any other movement you want to do as part of your warming up, you can do that now. And then we're going to come to Moda Ani. So, um, and again, choose what movements feel good to you. It's about release, finding comfort and stability in your body. So starting the movements for Moda Ani, just in case you forgot over the last couple of months, you're gonna start stretching up, feel that lift through your center, Inhale, exhale, opening the arms. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back and then just take that stretch forward. Feeling the backs of the legs. You can bend your knees if that feels better. And then lifting back up and releasing here. So now we'll add the prayer. Feel free to sing along or sing anything you want. Moda ani lepaneko, melech lai vikayo, shehezorta binish mahati bechem lo, bechem lo. Rabba emuna terecho, moda ani lefaneko, melech lai vikayo, shehezartah 
So just feeling your breath, feeling um, the release through your muscles. We're going to come to um, Birkot Shahar. So again, I'll go over the um, yoga postures, the standing postures. If there's any other posture that feels good to you, um, choose whatever feels right for your body as you come into that sense of grounding, connecting to your core and connecting to your breath. So um, you're going to turn your right foot out, your left foot turns in, and you're just going to hinge the hips for Trikonasana for the triangle, squeeze your thigh muscles, you can keep your hand on your hip or you can stretch it up. Just feeling your breath, keep engaging the thighs, squeezing the thighs. Take a few deep breaths here and then you're going to bend into the right knee as you lift, feel the center and then you're leaning over to one side. Again, you can keep this hand on your hip or you can stretch it up, see what feels best for you. Keep deepening your breath. Feel the rib cage connecting into the body, supporting the spine. And then take that stretch back, opening your side torso, lengthening from the outer ribs to the pelvis. And then coming back up and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So left foot turns out, right foot turns in a tiny bit. Tilt the hips and you're just lengthening the torso sideways. You can squeeze the thigh muscle and then reach the arm up so you feel your torso lengthening, but also your abdominals are working, pulling into the body, feeling your breath, and then lifting back up, bending into the knee, and then either leaning over or just keeping the hand here. See what feels right and you're opening the side body, opening the torso, and then coming back up and stretching the other way. So now opening the other side. And then coming back to center, turn your feet, they can stay out or turn in, see what feels better for you. Sometimes even rotating the feet inward um, can open the hips a little more. So again, lifting the belly muscles as you go forward. If your knees want to bend here, you can let them bend. And you're just stretching forward, feeling your breath. Feel yourself grounding into the floor. And then you're going to lift up and reach. So now you're lengthening the torso, creating more space in the middle of the body, more space for your breath more energy, and then you're going to bend and reach. So you're, this is where we stretch the earth out over the waters. So again, thinking about the bones of the body, grounding. And so you're stretching your bones over the waters of the body. So you're suspended inside yourself. There's more space, there's more breath. And then lifting up, and this is the, um, the goddess pose for when we feel that God provides for all of our needs. We may not know it at the time, it may not feel like it, but creating that sense of faith and, and openness. And then lowering down. And now we're gonna come to the balances. So it's up to you. You can um, keep your foot low for tree. You can lift it um, a little bit under the knee, or you can pick it all the way up inside to the inner thigh. What you wanna make sure is that you don't push the foot into the knee that is balancing. So whichever one you choose, you can also use a wall, push into a wall or a chair if that feels better. And then release and you'll switch to the other side. So you're thinking about your two inner thighs pressing into each other. So the center of the body is pushing together. Inner thighs lifting tall 
and then lower down. So the next one is um, you're working hamstrings and glutes. So the leg comes behind you. If it feels um, fine to do so, you can take your foot with your hand and work the balance this way or touch a wall, but make sure you're still engaging the belly so you're not straining in the low back. And then switching to the other side. So you're lifting the center, engaging your bottom, and stretching up. Or keep this leg on the ground. So again, you're just choosing what feels best for you. And then the last one, this is the most, this is the most challenging, I think, is um, it's like you're skiing. So you're coming into a comfortable squat. For some of us, it's better for our knees to stay higher. For some of us, it feels better to go lower and you're reaching up as you're sitting back. So choose what feels best for you. And you should really feel those thigh muscles working, the abdominals working, your breath working. And then you lift back up. So now, um, forgive my Hebrew, but we'll see how this goes. Um, coming, starting again with the movements and now adding the prayers. So coming into Chikanasana, the triangle. Baruch atah donai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lasech vina Lachavin ben yom uven laila I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You have given me understanding to see differences clearly as between day and night. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam she'atsani b'tsamo. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. You have made me in your image with unlimited potential. Amen. And stretching back. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You have made me free with the ability to choose. Amen. And switching sides. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam she'asani Yisrael. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam you have made me a Jew with an enriching heritage. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam pokeach ivrim. I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You open the eyes of the blind, providing sight and insight. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Malbisharumim Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam You clothe the naked, providing shelter and boundaries. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Matir asurim I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You liberate the bond, releasing us from our shackles. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Zokev kifufim. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. You straighten the bent, removing whatever pushes us down. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Rokah haaretz al hamayim I fully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who stretches the earth out over the waters. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam She'asal yokot sorki Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, you provide me with skills and tools, enabling me to meet all of my needs. Amen. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Hechim Tzadegaver I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You guide my steps, helping me walk on my intended path. Even when the path is filled with brambles and roots and rocks and I'm tipping, there's still a way through. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Ote Yisrael begurah Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam You gird me with courage and strength, enabling me to overcome all obstacles. So it may feel like there are a lot of obstacles right now, and there are, but we have the strength to manage this. We have the skills, the strength, and the breath. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Oter Yisrael b'tifarah I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You crown me with dignity and glory, balancing strength with beauty. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Anotin lakech koach. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam You strengthen the weary, staying with us even when we are exhausted. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheasani menai utfana me'epai. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech halam. You remove sleep from my eyes and slumber and confusion from my mind. See, I'm already confused about the words. I thankfully acknowledge you, Adonai, for all the gifts you provide. And if you want to work those gifts, work that intensity, you can go up and down on your toes, keep pulling the belly muscles in, feel yourself rooting, find those roots into the ground, grounding yourself, feeling your breath, and then stretching up, reach back and let us say, Amen. So now, um, now we'll sing hallelujah. So for hallelujah, uh, any movement that feels good to you. So I'll be doing the sun salute. If you want to just press up and fold, you can do that. Any movements that feel like a good release um, that explores and expresses the hallelujah in your heart. Um, I think I have to lower my, or I'll do it sideways. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 
of Neshama Karlbach to help us continue our movements together. We're going to start. So it's your choice. You can do, if you feel like you want to do more energy, more sun salutes, you can do more sun salutes. If you want to work through your center, just feeling the opening, feel that center stretching up. If you want to do more sun salutes, you can. And reaching forward. I'm sorry, it's the wrong song. <laughs> it's the wrong song. There we go. Anishala. <laughs> I am yours. There we go. That makes more sense. So coming to that start, stretching up. The beautiful sound of Nishama Karabakh, bringing your hands to your heart center. You can fold forward, one knee is bent, one knee is straight. Feel your breath. And you can take a twist. You can either keep your hand here and just look, or you can take your hand all the way down and stretch across, or keep your elbow. So choose what feels best for you. The hand can be down. Feel your breath and switch legs. Stretching up. Feel that length through the torso. This leg is opening as you stretch. Feel your belly muscles, hands to your heart center. Take that twist. So either just turn your head or your elbow can come here or shake your hands all the way down. Feel your breath and just press back into downward facing dog. Stretching the back muscle. And walking your hands back and lifting up. So coming to more balancing, you're just gonna swing your legs forward and back. You can hold on to a wall or a chair. This is to loosen the hips as you work your core. So your leg can be bent or straight. Just to feel what's comfortable for you. If you want it on the ground, you can put it on the ground and back. Feel that breath moving. And then just Feel the difference between your two sides. Stretching up. And then do that hip release on the other side. Forward and back. So it can be straight. It can be bent. Feel your breath. Feel your core. I don't know, I am yours. And feel the ground, feel the leg. Take that stretch forward again. This time you're going to reach one arm up. Take a twist. And twist to the other side. Walk your hands back, moving forward. Bend the knees, rolling up, circling the shoulders. And the other way, 
And then just doing little bounces on your energizing out. You can stretch up and reach one side and the other. So stretch. You can press down or you can press up. Feel your torso growing longer. And open down. And then just circling your shoulders side to side. And then bending forward. And now you're just bringing one shoulder forward, loosening the back, feeling your breath, feeling your center. Stretching the torso. Reaching up. Leaning to one side. And the other side. And just stretching back, feeling the opening through the torso pressing the legs into the ground. And now we bring our hearts and thoughts to Jerusalem, feeling the connection all over the world with everyone, all of our tribe that's preparing with slichot, with forgiveness, with connection for the new year. So thinking of, here we go, feeling that sense of connecting both into yourself and into the larger world that we were fortunate to choose or to be born into. Stretching up, feeling that link, feeling your breath. Whoops. Not sure what just happened. trying to get her. Someone else is controlling my music. <laughs> okay, so stretching up. Feeling that lift. <laughs> and folding forward. So you're just going to move up and back. All right, I'll try one more time and then we'll just do it without the music. So feeling the center, inhale up, exhale back. And then switching to the other side, lifting up and stretching back. Inhale and exhale forward. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold. Two more times, lift, and fold. And stretching up, and now twisting. And switch to the other side, feeling your center. And then just touching the inside of me, reaching back, feeling your breath. And then just take that stretch forward. Feeling your breath. 
walking hands and feet together, circling your shoulders, circling the other way, and bending the knees, lifting the heels, straighten the legs, and roll. And again, lift, straighten, lower. Inhale. Try to find that balance. Lifting up. Feel your center. Drop your shoulders. Feel the ribs. And lower down. Sorry about that confusion. Um, we're going to come onto your back for Seam Shalom. So, cut, sorry, coming into cat stretch. Just feeling your breath. So pulling the belly muscles in and release. Find your center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. And then take your right foot back. Push into that back leg. And work the balance, lifting opposite arm from opposite leg. And switch sides. Stretch the foot back, keep lifting your ribs. And lifting this leg, finding the balance. And just stretch back into child's pose. Feel your breath in the back of your body. And walk your hands over to one side. And walk your hands the other way. And then make your way onto your back, coming into bridge. 
So pressing your feet into the ground and lifting up. You can reach your arms overhead or interlace behind your back. And this one leg up. And switch. And slowly lower down, bring your knees into your chest. And just rocking side to side. And just feel the sense of your knees hugging your heart. So feel your breath as you bring your knees in. So think about your legs being the root of how you connect to the world. So just bring your root to your heart. Feel your breath, bring your heart to your root. You can gently circle. So again, forgiveness is freedom from resentment inside. It doesn't mean you have to accept actions of anyone else. You just want freedom inside. And what we're doing now is finding freedom inside, forgiving ourselves, forgiving others, feeling the breath. If we need to seek forgiveness, can look at that this coming week as you prepare. And then you can rock your knees side to side. So releasing tension in your shoulders. Our shoulders sometimes do a lot of resenting for us or they help us or they take over. So now let those shoulders be free. Release them into the ground. Feel that breath. And then gently hug your knees in one more time and slowly roll to seated. So preparing for the Shema. So for the Shema, we're hearing, we're listening to ourselves. We want Adonai to hear us. And we want to feel like we are one with our tribe and one with ourselves. So have that sense of your spine lifting from the center of the body. So let the nerves, the nerves of the spine are in the back. The movement, the structure of your spine is in the front. So lift the front of your body so that the nerves can be free and dancing. So if you want to imagine those angels on Jacob's ladder dancing up and down, and then the ladder is inside you, the strength is inside you. So feeling your breath, I'm just coming to the Shema. Shema. So just coming down onto the ground and we're just going to finish 
far release by flexing and pointing the foot. You can hold the leg. You can do this in a chair if you don't want to get back on the ground. And then just circle the ankle so you're feeling the lengthening through the back of the leg as you release tension in the foot. Feeling the breath in the floor when you inhale. And then just let this leg gently rock side to side, not too far. This leg, the opposite leg has to stay stable in order to find freedom in the hip. So if you're looking for freedom, you need engagement, connection. Otherwise you're just tipping over and that's um, actually instability instead of stability. So now just feel the difference between your two sides. Feel that release, feel that breath, letting go inside yourself and then switching to the other side, flex and point. And so just thinking um, about the opening of the foot, circling the ankle around, feeling relief, feeling energy, and circle the other direction. And then opening the leg out to the side and across. So um, there's a lot of writing uh, with Slichot about who we want to be this year, how we want to create our ourselves, what we want to let go of, what we want to stay constant to. And I want to offer that um, deepen that thinking into your body, into your breath. So just feeling that release between your two sides. So what kind of connections do you want to find in your body this year? How do you want to connect into the self, both physically and spiritually? So bringing in, um, holding, coming into the number four. So you're taking your ankle across your knee and you can rock side to side or hold here. So the yogis did all these crazy movements, not so that they could um, wear all the fancy clothes from Lululemon, but they did these because it helps calm the mind. It helps enhance the immune system and then switch to the other side. So thinking about those connections inside yourself and what you want to enhance in your physical expression of your spirit. That's what our bodies are. They phys physical expressions of our spirit. So how can you enhance those connections? Strengthening, releasing, softening, strengthening. So just getting that sense. And then just hugging in one more time, gently rocking side to side. So not thinking about your body externally, but thinking about the internal. So we're gonna take a moment more just thinking about the breath. So as you lie here, you can either have your knees in or let your feet come to the ground or they can straighten. Let your hands come to your ribs or just feel your ribs in the front and back. And as you breathe in through your mouth, keep your mouth closed. So breathe in through your mouth, but your mouth is closed. And it should deepen your breath into that back body. Exhale, feel the sense of coming more connected into yourself. So when you inhale, you create more space. When you exhale, you create more engagement. So feel that sense inside, creating openness with your breath and exhaling, creating connection. And then as we listen to Misha Barak from Debbie Friedman, if there's anyone who needs healing in your heart, anyone who needs healing either physically or emotionally or healing into yourself just bring in that awareness as you lie still feeling your breath Find 
to make our minds a blessing and learn our So slowly rolling onto your side, just curling into a fetal position. I thank you for my life, body and soul. And just as you lie there, feel this sense of the ground beneath you, solid. Feel your breath in your body. And just find three things you feel thankful for in this moment, whatever they are. Just feeling that sense of gratitude coming into your body and then very slowly come back to any comfortable seated position. And just finding your shoulders again, gently releasing the shoulders and gently circling the other direction. And just let your head drop to one side and the other side and lightly circling the head around and circle the other direction. And then inhale, reach your arms up, feel that center growing Inhale everything that feels great and supportive and exhale any tension or restrictions you don't need. And then rub your hands together, building heat and give yourselves a nice massage on your neck and shoulders. Thank you all so much for sharing 
your yoga, your breath, your preparation for Rosh Hashanah with me today. I hope you have a safe, healthy, and as sane as possible New Year. Namaste. Happy and a healthy New Year to you. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Happy New Year. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. So was, good. Uh, Michelle, was this yeah. recorded? Uh, we were going to record them, so we... I think so. Sh uh, Sean? Yes, it is. It is. I, I haven't been able to find where they are, but I know they're there. Uh, I believe they posted them on the website, but I can double check for you. Oh, thank you. Have you found any? Mary Ellen, I know they're somewhere. Have you, has anyone seen them? I have not found them. Okay. And if anyone wants to take classes with me, I realize I haven't, you can always email me at mshell267 at AOL. I have an ancient email. Um, if you're interested in classes during the week at all. So just.